This one is a test about something a company sent me. They send me weird things sometimes. They asked me if I'd test this thing. Well, it's a CPU cooler. And it's designed to mount your CPU here. And it's got pipes on it. And the pipes are filled with liquid. And by natural convection, the liquid goes up in here, transfers the heat to the fins, and you got this fancy little fan right there. Uh, and so they sent that to me, and I'll give you a, uh, a name and model on this in a minute, to test. Well, I don't really need it for a CPU, so I decided I would use it to test an LED light. Now that's a 100 watt LED, there's a lens over it, and so I mounted it where you would mount it to the CPU. And this of course has to be mounted like that, hanging down, otherwise the natural convection won't work. But I thought I would kind of test this thing and see if it did, if it worked for a 100 watt LED. See, I got to move 100 watts of heat off of this thing. Okay, let's take a look at the box and stuff. Okay, it's, it's an IGO IC series. Uh, it is an RGB. And here is a model here. Now, this thing does some things other than just cool the CPU. Okay, the box comes with a bunch of mounting stuff, uh, all kinds of cutesy poo little screws and stuff, and some wires and the like. And it's also got this silly thing. That's supposed to uh, change the lights and turn the lights on and off. This thing actually has lights in it. If we look here, these things all light up when I turn this thing on. And you're supposed to be able to change the... Uh, colors and so on. I couldn't do it. I couldn't figure out how to wire it and because this is not hooking up to a computer then uh, I really couldn't make that work. So all it is going to do now for me is it's going to cool this LED. What's this silly box I got mounted up there? If you look close you can see that is a power supply for a computer and it will give me 16 amps at 12 volts. So I use this to power this. Now the LED needs 32 volts, so I had to make some adjustments there, but I got that to work. So will this thing cool that 100 watt LED? Okay, I've got it dangling up here. Does the silly thing work? Ah, uh, yeah it does. It's typical, the light output on these things, a uh, 100 watt LED is supposed to be equivalent to about a 500 watt uh, halogen. I think it's may, maybe more like 400, but it does work. You got pretty blue lights up there, you know, uh, I guess that's the only color I'm going to get. Uh, but it does work when used in conjunction with a computer power supply. You can kind of see what kind of light output there is. You should also note that it is uh, ever so aesthetically pleasing. Uh, not sure you're going to believe that. The ambient temperature around here is about 33 Fahrenheit. And so I'm going to give you some temperatures of the piping. 47, 30, uh, 43. So you can see it's... Uh, it's not raising a lot. At a 48, there's the highest I've gotten so far. Up in the fins, a little harder to tell much, but it's running in the 40s. So uh, it's been running for, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes now, so it's, it's actually doing pretty good. Okay, is this thing uh, any good? Yeah, it actually is pretty good. The temperature rise on the piping was very low. You know, not more than 20 degrees at the most. So it's moving heat pretty good. I've actually taken temperature of this surface right here is where the 
LED fits on. And it's not much higher than the piping temperature. It's pretty close. So it's pretty good. And it, the thing comes in a little tube of this stuff. That's a heat transferring compound that you put between the LED and this uh, aluminum plate. So actually, this thing works really good. I've experimented with a number of these heat exchangers for these LED lights. I'm changing a lot of my stuff to LEDs, the shop lighting especially. This one heats up the least, which it should. It's a, kind of a monster. But there, you know, there's a fan on it. It needs a fan, of course. You, you're not going to get away without a fan on one of these things. But, you know, it is transferring 100 watts. I can't get any... Uh, specs on this thing how many watts it should actually be able to move it certainly moves 100 watts as for this thing uh, if anybody's interested in how I adapted this uh, power supply for computer to operate this light I'll do it in another video if a few people ask I will go ahead and do a video over how I modified this thing so it'll work so anyway that's it on that one